Well, all the world's a disco, thanks to Here Lies Love. The immersive new musical has transformed the Broadway theater into a dance club, telling the story of Imelda Marcos' rise and fall in the Philippines. With theater favorite Conrad Rica Mora starring as her political nemesis, Ninoy Aquino, Conrad joins me now. Welcome, Conrad. Hi, good Sarah. You. It's good to be here, even though it's a little bit early since my schedule I has me know. on at night. Oh, uh, my God. Thanks for getting up early for us. Oh, no problem. Listen, we're two days away, right? Is it two two days yeah, away Thursday from opening Thursday is night? opening night. So how are you feeling? How are the nerves? I mean, this has been so, you've been living with this for a while, but yeah, no, uh, I, it honestly just feels like revisiting an old friend because I yeah. did the third workshop at Williamstown 11 years ago, oh right out of grad school. It was my first job, and uh, so now oh it just God. feels like uh, a, 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 the most comfortable pair of pants that you could ever put on. Yeah, and as a performer, like you never know, like you, when you start a show, you never know once that little version of it ends if it's going to come back. So every time you get a call about it, yeah. are you like, oh. I mean, amazing. Oh, yes. no, I, we, we had, I had let this train leave the station right? like years ago. Also because of the nature of the show, they literally had to tear out the seats of a theater yeah. to create this dance floor that the show takes place on. Yeah. So the fact that we're doing it on Broadway is beyond my wildest dreams because it almost happened so many times so I just had already let it go. Yeah, so what we had through this these last 10 11 years that you've been with the show, how has your approach to the character changed? Like have have has your vision of the show, have your feelings about the show or the character changed in this time? I mean, I don't think as an actor you ever fully let go of a character yeah. that you've played. It kind of lives in your bones for the rest of your life and I've never especially with a character like I mean, he's a real life person, yeah. the Filipino uh, revolutionary leader, Ninoy Aquino, um, uh, who stood up for democracy when uh, Imelda Marcos and Ferdinand Marcos were claiming martial law and creating a dictatorship for the yeah. Philippines. So he's a very inspirational figure to me and the fact that I get to revisit him now uh, means so much and I just feel like I get to deepen into the role even more. I was going to say that because I mean this is a really charged time in, in the history of the Philippines. Did it, did it kind of impact your relationship to your heritage? Yeah I mean it, we've as a Asian American actor a lot of us have done told a lot of different stories that have, you know, general Asian stories. Yeah. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever been able to be a part of a specific Filipino uh, story. With an all-Filipino cast. With an all-Filipino cast on Broadway for the first time. And my dad immigrated here when he was 10 uh, from the Philippines. So uh, it's just this immense sense of pride just goes through all of us in the cast. It's yeah. just, it's really been a, a blessing. And you talk about the, the the staging, the set is really such a huge part of this show. I yeah. mean, it's, you are, you, the stage moves. <laughs> it's like a dance club. There's people on the ground. There's people in, this, in, in the uh, balcony levels. Yeah. Like, how does that impact your performance? Because theater is all about the immediate feedback from the audience, and you're standing over them. Oh, sometimes we're rubbing shoulders with them. Yes. We move through the audience uh, and then jump back up on these platforms, which I can tell you 11 years ago was a lot easier, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm still making it work. Uh, but it definitely uh, adds to the, the heightened sense of anytime you go to see a Broadway show is exciting, but because we are, the audience is in the action with yeah. us, this just heightens it. Do you ever get distracted because you see somebody you know in the audience? <laughs> well, like I'll tell you, you. <laughs> uh, when we first did it uh, 10 years ago at the public, we were having, uh, we were working on issues with the fog. And so we had uh, to stop the show certain times. And one time that we stopped the show, Tyra Banks was in the audience. Oh my God. And then we when we restarted, I had to jump back on stage in the middle of the audience and I slipped <gasps> and she went to like, Help me and like push me oh back up. God. But she realized that she was just, I think she was gonna push my butt. butt yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so she went, oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been a nice memory, that, like, story I know. to tell for the rest of I know. You can still tell it though, because she almost yeah. pushed her butt. Right, like, I like it anyway. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. keep it. Yeah, keep it. All right, well, we're going to keep you, too. Uh, you can catch Here Lies Love at the Broadway Theater. For tickets and more info, head to herelieslovebroadway.com. Thank you so much. He is so good in this show. you got to go see him. Thanks, Thanks Sarah. Thank you.